Well, this book that you have actually uh, just brought out, Yolan Lim's Recipes for Herbal Longevity, um, there are little secrets, family secrets in that book, aren't yes. there? Yes, most of these uh, recipes are from my family that we just constantly eat and constantly teach our children to, uh, to, to cook them so that in future they will not have to spend any time in hospital or spend any money with any doctors. I think it's a wonderful idea. Why don't we uh, quietly sort of, uh, you and I, that is, go over to the kitchen in the commercial break because uh, you're going to cook something for us in a minute, yes. aren't you? Good. What, are, what are you going to cook? I'm going to cook, I think, uh, lentil soup. Or, mm. No, not lentil soup. Uh, almond and beans? Uh, almond and beans. I heard a whisper. Is, <laughs> almond and beans, which is good for your... Ma basically, almond and beans, when you combine together, it gives you the uh, synergistic effect of stimulating your brain, and therefore it helps things like uh, blood pressure, uh, sinai dementia, forgetfulness, increase your, your... In other words, it increase your whole circulation, to your circulatory system. To your brain. To your brain, yes. I need all of those, Yolan. So we'll take a quick commercial break and we'll be back shortly. Fine. And we're going to cook some almond and bean, or do lots of things with them. I'm not quite sure what, but uh, it's going to be good. <laughs> Welcome back. We're talking to practitioner of Chinese medicine and now cookbook author Yolan Lim. Now, Yolan, we were talking earlier about what you're going to make for us this time. Just reiterate and tell us what's happening here. Well, I'm just basically going to cook a very simple dish we mentioned before. This dish will help you to uh, stimulate your brain, increase more blood to, uh, to your brain, and thereby it will help you in things like forgetfulness. Uh, in, in fact, it also help people with headache problems or in some cases because you've got more blood to your brain in the daytime you don't feel so sleepy therefore at night you can sleep a bit better that's right yes. oh yes i need that what do we start with we well, put the start wok very on easy we put a wok on let heat? it heat up once it is heated up we can then put some oil in some sesame oil and with this recipe the, the it is very simple in all the dishes are very simple mm. and um can be easily done in a very very short period the next thing we put in is the uh, uh, garlic and uh, ginger which has been chopped up nicely once that is start to to season up then we put in the um, uh, onion right. this is one onion smelling pretty good already smelling pretty good mm -hmm. unfortunately i think the flame is a bit slow so it may take a few minutes now, in your book, you discuss the Tao or Tao philosophy. What is Tao that? philosophy is very important. Tao is governs all universe. You cannot explain it in one word. It's the way you, you do things, the energy that you do things. The, uh, the, the, in other words, to live with Tao is to live according to nature. Right. To go against Tao means you go against nature. In other words, if you, if you want, to, uh, want to be healthy, you eat whatever nature provides you without any chemical. If you want to build a house, you build it according to the to the philosophy of Tao, so that your house will not collapse. And uh, <laughs> in other words, it's like a bamboo; it bends. And now, bamboo, bamboo is with nature, so our character also is Tao. Tao governs everything under the universe. So it governs everything that you everything do. Everything you do is a philosophy behind a philosophy. Now, once that is sizzling, what we do is we then put the put the beans in. Do you want me to help you no, in any way? Right. No, that's Now, normally we fry it a bit brown, more brown than this. But anyway, we can. Oh. Looks pretty nice. Very nice. And oops. And once that is cooked, what we do is we put the coriander in between there. Right. Th this are uh, ground coriander. Well, there are two different kinds of the different colours of coriander, are there? No, this is the right kind. This That's is a right natural one. kind. Uh, the best is to buy the coriander seed and ground it yourself. Okay. Because by commercial grinding, they put it to a very high speed grinder, and it affects some of the. Um, their, uh, their medicinal value. Don't forget every time when a housewife cooks, she is in actual fact preparing a dish of medicine. If you look back in history, medicine after law originated, all medicine originated from natural sources. So when she cooks, she's almost like a chemist, a kitchen chemist. Yes, that's true, I suppose. Producing the thing. And food, of course, is the most important thing. Food being the essence of life. Because without food, there's no life. It's like a storybook, isn't it? Tell it when you cook, it's like That's telling right. a story. Like telling a story, and uh, the amount of uh, care you take in preparing the, um, the, the the raw material determines the uh, quality of the food that comes out. This is what we also call Tao. Tao is everything you do behind. 
It's an intention also. That is also called Tao. Tao is a way of life. Yeah. Now, what, once that is cooked, the final step is to put in the almond and just sprinkle the almond. And at this stage, when the almond is on, you can then turn off the turn off the gas, and we have a dish ready for eating. Oh, it looks so nice. And as you say, it's unfortunately, so we have a chopstick, yes. so we may have to use a, a giant size one. Gosh almighty! <laughs> This is a useful Giant for size. Will I have a little go? Normally we should cook a bit longer so that it's not so... Uh, no one's going to so want to rock. come near me for the rest of the day with all this garlic in me, Yolan. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Well, thanks for coming and joining us this morning and showing us how to do this cooking. And your book, Recipe for Health and Longevity. Good name. Thanks a lot, John. Good name. Well, ho hopefully we all live to a, an old age and I'll learn to cook all the recipes in your book. We help you to die young when you're old. <laughs> oh, what a lovely <laughs> thought. I like that. Thanks very much. See you then. Talking with you, Yolande. You know what? I shouldn't talk with my mouth half full, should I? But you stay with us. We were talking with Yolande Lim, but in a moment we'll show you how to win a family pass to a Walt Disney classic in our fox and hound competition. Sorry about this, folks, but first with the latest news from David Jones.